How's it going, everyone? This is Rapsack. And this is Oriel here. And we are HDGW2, bringing you the latest Guild Wars content on the interwebs. Mm -hmm. So today, we just wanted to go ahead and do a quick video um, and take a step into the trait and attribute systems of Guild Wars 2. Now, before we do start, we just want to let you guys know that because there isn't actually a beta event, beta event running at the moment uh, we aren't able to show you the trade system in game instead what we'll be doing is uh, showing you guys a few web sources uh, we'll drop a link for these in the in the description so you can check it out for yourselves first of all uh, we'll just give you guys a quick comparison between the systems of Guild Wars 1 versus the system of Guild Wars 2 all right so um, I'm not sure how many of you guys actually played Guild Wars 1 I know I did um, perhaps a little bit too much <laughs> but just to give you guys a refresher in Guild Wars 1 um, the attributes boosted the effectiveness of your skills passively. So every class had a few attributes and putting points into these will give you a passive increase to your skills that are related to that attribute. So basically, um, you put some points in, you're going to get a little bit more damage, you're going to get a little bit more healing, um, perhaps a little bit more duration on a, uh, a buff or something like that. Um, there was also a profession specific attribute um, as we can see up here mm -hmm. for example the warrior had strength so this was unique to the warrior class um, and basically by putting points into this you got a um, little buff that would add armor penetration on your attacks depending on how many points you had in there now yeah. the uh, the guild wars 2 um, attribute system works a little bit differently um, attributes boost the overall effectiveness of your um, character. Now, uh, the distribution of attributes is controlled by the traits um, and controlled by traits and leveling up. Sorry, um, the addition of the trait system allows you to customize your skills, giving you uh, skill-specific buffs. We see this adding a lot of diversification to the skills in Guild Wars 2, which is really cool. Uh, wraps up. Rapsack and myself are looking forward to how players at the high end do customize these and things like that. Yeah, that interplay is going to be going to be really interesting. Actually, I'm really keen to see that. So anyway, um, over here we've got some attributes. So basically, in Guild Wars 2, you've got this attribute system broken down into primary attributes and secondary attributes. So um, in terms of primary attributes, these are sort of basic sort of structures of your character. That's like how much damage, how much health they're going to have. Um, and these are going to level up as you level up. So if you go on the wiki, you can notice here that it says um, once you reach level 80, you will have a total of 916 points in each of these attributes. Mm. So these attributes, um, you're going to see that they increase at a similar rate to each other. Mm -hmm. The only difference actually comes in with the trait system. So as you invest points in traits, you're going to be able to customize if your character has a little bit more power or a little bit more toughness. So you get a little bit of a leeway that way. Similarly, cool. cool. Yeah, so similarly, um, in secondary attributes, these um, are attributes that go a little bit deeper into the mechanics of the character. Um, we've got things that increase your critical strike multiplier, um, going to increase the duration of your sort of conditions and that sort of thing. These again, um, these will be leveled up as you increase your traits, but they won't actually increase as you level up your character. All right, cool. So we do have uh, one more type of attribute in Guild Wars 2. Um, these are known as profession attributes. Um, now, uh, profession attributes are unique to each class. Um, so, for example, we've got someone like the, the Necromancer um, who has hunger. And this, what this does is increases the life force pool. Or we've got a Ranger, which has empathy, which improves pet abilities. Or, sorry, pet attributes. So, yeah, basically, these things are going to um, affect your class-specific mechanics. So, that's going to give you a little bit more sort of recharge on your virtues or a little bit more damage with um, whatever it is your class sort of specializes in. All right, so over here we've got a little bit of a uh, sort of a uh, talent calculator over here um, for the trait system. Um, and as you can see here, we've got the Necromancer loaded up. Each um, class has five different trait lines. Um, and these within these trait lines, you can spend points as we do just here. And as you can see, when we add a point, that's going to give us a bonus to two attributes. So each trait line is going to give you two separate attributes. So for example, Curses here is going to give us um, uh, an upgrade to our Precision and an upgrade to our Malice, which increases condition damage. So that's like a primary and a secondary. Now, uh, just to clarify, each time you do level up, you get uh, a, a trait point. Um, so uh, you'll get a total of um, 70 at the end of the game. Um, now, on, on top of buffing your attributes, whenever you spend five points in a trait line, you get uh, you get a trait, which is a skill-specific buff. Um, at points 5, 15, and 25 in a trait line, you'll receive a set trait known as a minor trait. Um, I say set trait because you basically can't choose these. These are already set out for you. 
Now, at points 10, 20, and 30, you receive a trait of your choice known as a major trait. Uh, you can actually choose these. So there will be a list. Um, you get to choose one of these. Um, now, again, we'll have a link uh, in the description so you can see all of this information on the, the GW2 wiki. Yeah, so like we said earlier, um, the great thing about this trait system is it's going to be able to customize the way a skill performs. So this is going to give us a large diversity to sort of mm, character builds that we're going to see. Um, this is sort of, you know, in comparison to Guild Wars 1 where you had a large um, pool of skills, um, there's actually a little bit of a less skills in this game. Um, but then on top of that, we've got these um, traits which are going to allow us to diversify those skills. So, that is pretty cool. That is yeah. pretty cool. So basically when we marry these two things together, um, the potential for customization becomes near limitless. So we're really interested in seeing that. All right, guys, thanks for listening to this quick video. If you can please uh, like, subscribe, comment on our video if you want to. Uh, we really appreciate any feedback you can give us. So uh, yeah. Yeah, so um, yeah, that's all from us. We'll see you next time. Stay tuned.